What do you want people to know about you, Eric? That I have autism. I like math and play Roblox and making new, new friends. Oh, do you have a lot of friends? Yes. You do? When I first met Eric, um, I just, uh, just saw the sweetest boy. He is creating friendships. He is blending in the classroom. I wasn't sure if I had made the right choice to bring him to a public school before we were in a private school where he got nothing but attention. I just want to take my son, put him in my pocket, and just keep him safe. And that's when Ms. Tran kind of opened my eyes and she said something to me that I will never forget. And she said, Lily, you need to share your son with the world. He's such an amazing child. He's such an amazing little boy. And you need to share him with everybody. We want him to be a part of our school, of our community. It means the world to me to know that I can send my son to a school where he'll be safe. Herrick is like a really big success story for in my experience and it was because they really pushed him but not to the point where he couldn't handle it they knew what he was capable of and they pushed him to that level he was nonverbal at the time i trusted them and i was like okay if you think he's capable of doing this i'm going to I'm gonna let you. And next thing I knew, I think it was the end of kindergarten that he was actually in front of the class making little speeches. I think my story has allowed so many parents already to go through those processes and let us help them and work together. Your child does need extra support. It's okay to need extra support. There's a gap that, that needs to be filled. And if you don't do it now, it's only gonna get harder, not just for you, but for them. And we need to do what's best for your child. That is my, I love doing that. He has done things that I never in a million years thought he was gonna be able to do. And I'm um, so proud of him. I'm so proud of him.